Scorpions, Americans that pack a punch. Come here. Oh, wow. Look at this little beauty. It's a scorpion. One wallet from this little one, and it's going to put me back a few days. By crikey, they pack a big stick. G'day. I'm Steve Irwin. And this is a scorpion from way out in the middle of the Mojave Desert. Beautiful area. And we're going to be traveling right across the US looking at dangerous species. G'day. G'day. <laughs> I just got to finish off this steak and then zip straight across the Pacific Ocean over to the United States of America. It's the home to a whole stack of dangerous and bitey critters. Some of them have got fangs, some of them have got sharp teeth, spiders, snakes and other bodies. Look at this mess. Good grief. Now, this is obviously not venomous, but it does have a bit of a bite. Just like the king snake, it's not venomous, but rattlesnakes have to watch out because the king snake will bite them and even eat them. We're in Southern California looking for the famous king snakes. They're harmless to people. They have got teeth, which means they can bite, but the one thing they will eat is rattlesnakes. This is the California king snake. And when you look at these king snakes, they could be brother and sister. They could have come out of the same clutch. And yet they have these strikingly different patterns. This one has the long stripe. It might have two or even three stripes, some of them. Hey, you're very cute. What are you looking at? And this one's got the really neat kind of checkered board tummy. Now, the king snakes are reptile specialists. They love to hunt and eat other reptiles. And the amazing thing is they'll even get rattlesnakes. The venomous rattlesnake has no defense against these critters because they are immune to the rattlesnake's venom. When they catch and kill them, they eat them down. Even if the rattlesnake struggles or bites, he's completely bullet. See how they intertwine their tails like that and hang on? They've got wonderful grip and they use those scales for locomotion across the ground. It's amazing to think that they can hunt and eat other snakes and they don't have any arms or legs. Hey guys, what a pretty pattern. That forked tongue is coming out. He's sensing his environment. He knows that I'm a big mammal, but since I'm not posing any threat to him, he's not going to bite. Beautiful eyes. He's got no eyelids, of course, like all snakes. He can't blink. So he won't come out if it's really windy. They don't like the wind very much. But when he puts that forked tongue out, he can sense right where a predator is or a prey animal is. And they're marvelous hunters. Look at that camouflage. This will help him blend in when he's moving so that a predator wouldn't be able to easily pick him out of the bush. California king snake. What a lovely guy. Check this out. Some king snakes have mimicked the coloration of the highly venomous coral snake so as predators won't go near them. Hey, pretty bird. Hey, pretty bird. Hey, pretty bird. How's the way? Cocky grabs her food with her foot and then chomps it. Look at that beak. You know, the United States of America has all forms of species from the west coast all the way to the east coast. Poisons, venoms, teeth, fangs, just about anything that can chomp down on you and cause injury or pain is found there. Come over to my office. Now, let's see. I'll need this. This is a giant scorpion from South America. Have a look at this one. <laughs> It's not real, it's a part of my museum collection. But you can see this Australian desert scorpion's got pinches on the front for 
grabbing hold of food and then injecting it what, with that poisonous spine at the end there. That's where the venom or the poison's kept inside there. Immobilizes it. Ah, eats it. One of the best places to find scorpions is around old houses, busted up buildings and rubbish. Arizona, a beautiful dry country and home to a few different scorpion species. You get them in the rocks, you get them on the plains, but you also find them around old buildings. This old rubbish laying around, really good place for rattlesnakes. And scorpions, even spiders. And I'm on the hunt for, for a killer, small yellow scorpion, which packs a heck of a wallop. Very painful stink, but probably wouldn't cause death. Oh, here we go. Have a look at this little blighter. And there's his stinger. Let's go in for a closer look. Little scorpion, little yellow scorpion. They pack a wallop if they sting you, but they wouldn't kill you. And you can see he's got his stinger at the ready. He's bringing it over, poised. You can see that sharp barb. That's what he injects the venom with. Woo! We'll just leave him where he is. Scorpions are most closely related to A. Crabs. B. Flies. Or C. Spiders. Scorpions are most closely related to C. Spiders. They're an arachnid. Just ahead, venomous lizards. What are you doing, little clingy? There's no insects here. These bearded dragons, they're so common at the croc hunter's lair. They come in here to look for insects. They clean up the cockroaches. And this one's nice and fat from all the cockies around the place. Oh, you're a funny little lizard. You can see why they call them bearded dragons. They've got really unique beard. And that's kind of scary, especially if you're a cockroach. Let's head over to the US and have a look at a venomous species of lizard the Gila Monster. Gila Monsters prefer the dry, arid deserts. They spend the majority of their time underground. But when they do come to the surface, they're usually chasing the sun to bask, build up their temperature, or for food. There's one. They love the rocky areas where they build a subterranean labyrinth. And this is the very famous Gila Monster. Really famous. Gorgeous coloration. They spend a lot of their time under the ground, utilizing burrows that they've dug out with their sharp claws. Or they'll actually utilize burrows of rodents as well. And they'll feed on the rodents. So they might go down a rodent hole, have a feed, kill and eat. And then they'll utilize the burrows. But they got good sharp claws, very powerful, robust legs and toes to excavate. Very big, powerful head and their jaw structure is quite strong and those muscles back there they can crush things down no problem at all they like eating the eggs and virtually anything they can grab hold of they'll eat amazing how there's only two species of venomous lizards you're not going to swing around and bite me are you you might i might do that he's heating up in the sun pretty soon I don't reckon I'll be able to touch him, he'd swing around and bite me. Commonly seen, they bury under rocks and in the saguaro cactus. They're real tough animals to find. 